Bastiani Jr. was born on May 4, 1948 in Canastota, New York to Ed, an electrician, and Adele, a laboratory technician. He was raised with his sister Barbara and brother James, who was a 1972 Naval Academy graduate. As a youth, he was an avid reader of books on military history. This inspired his decision to join a military academy. He chose the Naval Academy for its range of service opportunities and its elite engineering program. In the Brigade of Midshipmen, he was commander of the Color Company, lettered as the Varsity Wrestling Team Manager, was a plebe detail summer squad leader, and embarked on the foreign exchange summer cruise to New Zealand. The Lucky Bag noted that, with his thriving aspirations to do his best, Ed will make a big hit with his service choice. Ed graduated with leadership distinction and began his naval career as a submariner. Starting aboard the USS Puffer, where he won the 1973 Pacific Fleet Junior Officer Submarine Ship Handling Contest. Next, he was assigned to the USS Francis Scott Key, then as an officer in charge of submarine NR-1, the Navy's only nuclear-powered deep-diving ocean engineering research submarine. Bob Ballard joined him on a mission near Iceland and tested equipment that was later used to find the Titanic. Ed assumed command of the USS Richard B. Russell, which earned three battle efficiency E's among other unit awards during his watch. Then he commanded Submarine Development Squadron 12, which develops and evaluates new submarine tactics. Ed served in numerous shore and staff assignments with important leadership and advisory roles that contributed to improvements in naval strategy and technology. As a flag officer, he was assigned to the U.S. Pacific Fleet as the Deputy Chief of Staff for Resources, Warfare Requirements, and Assessments, then as the Director of Submarine Warfare for the Chief of Naval Operations, where he and his staff were able to successfully gain acquisition approval for the Virginia-class attack submarine program. In 1998, he assumed command of the Atlantic Fleet Submarine Force. In this command, the Navy celebrated the 100th anniversary of the submarine force. Back in Washington, he served as the Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Resources, Requirements and Assessments, and as the Senior Military Assistant to the Secretary of Defense, Donald Rumsfeld. In 2002, he assumed command of the United States Joint Forces Command, then became NATO's first Supreme Allied Commander Transformation. On August 12, 2005, Ed was sworn in as the seventh Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, becoming the third Naval officer to hold that position. Admiral Gian Bastiani retired from the Navy in July 2007. During his military career, he received numerous U.S. and foreign awards, including 12 Distinguished Service Medals from the Department of Defense, Navy, Army, Air Force, and Coast Guard, and four Legions of Merit. He is most proud of his 19 unit awards, including eight Battle E's because they recognize the accomplishments of the entire team. In retirement, Ed continues to serve the business community and our nation by serving on numerous company boards and on many U.S. government advisory boards, investigations, and task forces for the Secretaries of Defense, State, Navy, and Interior, as well as for the Director of the CIA and NSA. He has also promoted changes to laws enabling active duty military member voting rights and serves as a federal commissioner on the Military Compensation and Retirement Modernization Commission. Throughout his military career, he has continually provided guidance, encouragement, and knowledge to the Brigade of Midshipmen through class presentations, lectures, and service selection support. Ed is a lifetime member of the Alumni Association, has served as chairman of the Distinguished Graduate Award Selection Committee, 2010 to 2012. He is a President Circle member, as well as a trustee and contributor to the USNA Foundation Athletic and Scholarship Program. Ed and his wife, Cindy, currently live in Florida. They have two children, Pete, class of 2000, and Catherine, both senior staffers on Capitol Hill. They also have a grandchild, Hannah, Cindy was the sponsor of the nuclear attack submarine USS New Mexico, which she christened in December 2008. While all of his service to our nation is important to Ed, he considers his most meaningful contribution helping to chart the course for the submarine force and the Department of Defense to deal with 21st century threats and challenges. Admiral Edmund P. Giambastiani, Jr through his devotion and inspiring leadership has significantly contributed to the defense and security of our nation. <laughs>